right, man. Bleach Report uh, did an article saying that Detroit Lions newly acquired cornerback Carlton Davis was the most overpaid Detroit Lion. It's a young roster. Not a lot of high-paid guys on the roster because it's so young. I mean, you start thinking maybe Jared Goff is the highest-paid player. Him and Armand Ra or Peniel Sewell ain't been extended yet. Um, who else on there that, that got a lot of money, to be honest? Once you start going through the, going through the roster, they ain't got too many high-priced guys. I mean, Tyler Decker at $19 million. Um, I know Graham just got paid. So when you start looking up that roster, you know, and, you know, people like, oh, why don't you go get T. Higgins? Or, you know, why they didn't want to go try, you know, what they would have tried to get Mike Evans before he went back to to Tampa? Or, you know, why didn't they try to get uh, Jalen John? Well, he didn't hit the market. Some of these guys didn't hit the market, but a bigger name guy. Because they can afford it, to be honest. They don't have a lot of high-paid players. Even they play a couple of their guys. They can structure it where, you know, they can bring in the T. Higgins. I'm not saying they should, or they can bring in a big name guy, you know. So, uh, but, you know, apparently uh, they said that Carlton Davis um, is iffy coverage of late. That's what we heard from the other guy that used to be a buck said, you know, his, his lack of availability. That's why they probably checking out so many corners right now. But as far as saying he overpaid, I think uh, he only account for like five or six million on the cap this year. So we we're kind of a late. It was kind of lazy reporting by them, and that's why they getting AI to write these articles because <laughs> these reporters don't do their homework. So I think he only on the books for six to five or six million dollars. I think they converted, you know, six million of his base fourteen million dollar salary into a signing bonus. You know, so he get that up front, and the rest of his salary gets spread it out throughout the year and Tampa is is absorbed 14 point something million and and dead a salary cap and no I would say you know um as far as that you know you can make a case for Taylor Decker you know he's really sturdy he's a solid player but I've been saying that he's a liability on that line because he can't run block so I've been saying that he's a liability it's hard to run left and right he's a big stiff guy solid pass protector but hey you know, if you can go out there and upgrade them, you upgrade them, you know, and be cheaper than paying them $20 million. Um, but, uh, I, I mean, so they just had to reach. It's not too many guys on the Lions that's, that you could say that's overpaid because they ain't really had to pay nobody. They, they, you know, Matt Patricia or Clint Tricia, even before he got there, Who's the GM? Martin Mayhew. They they were starting to get rid of a lot of guys, especially when Bob Quinn got here. They were starting to get rid of a lot of these guys. Once you start talking about uh, once you start talking about uh, um, once you start talking about they got rid of Slade Diggs. You know, uh, eventually they got that Jamie Collins contract off. You know, Trey Flowers contract rolled, rolled off. So, they had a lot of players that Trisha, uh, Clint Trisha gave the money to that was funny. So, they had to get the cap together. And I don't think they going to go out here Excuse me. and recklessly spin out here. I don't think that's going to be the case. I don't think you're going to see these guys recklessly spend that money out here. Um at all this season so um i just don't see it happening so um and so be it you know that's that's their choice that's their choice you know um but in my, my humble opinion i just think they just had to reach to find somebody and it was lazy reporting that now he only on the on the on the on the, on the books for six million and he ain't got an extension yet so I don't know if they waiting or he got to prove it this year that he can stay healthy and be an extension. But they say it's lapses in coverage. And at the end of the day, hopefully he ain't got Cam Sutton rolling all over. But the difference is, you know, it will be one and done if he don't perform in Detroit. And I think they preparing his replacement already or his his his, his, his partner in crime, his PIC, by drafting a cornerback at some point. It's a couple of them corners I was looking at that – uh. That was six four and above. You know, that's about six three, six four. Guy from Oregon. 
you know, is they got some bigger corners out there. I mean, um, which, you know, like I said before, you want to be able to, you know, reroute and, and you want to be able to go up and be physical with these, the, you know, the bigger receivers, the T. Higgins and, you know, those type of guys. You know, if you're agile enough too to keep up, you know, the Justin Jeffersons, the Jamar Chases or whatever. So, you know, it'll be interesting to see what kind of corner they, they get to pair. I think the kid from Alabama, not Kool-Aid, but the other one is the best corner in the draft, they saying. And they got a good kid from Iowa State. You got Nate Wiggins from Clemson, which a lot of people shying away from him because he got injured at the combine, but he's a smaller variety. But I think on turf, you love it. Him playing on turf, but you just run and wonder, you know, and run support, you know, can he help you out? But then, like I said before, that's why, you know, you got a Carlton Davis out there. You know what I'm saying? You know, you want a balance between the corners, in my opinion. You want them to be able to do everything, but you do need a corner that can run. You know what I'm saying? You know, one of them guys that can run. That's what you need. But uh, I think it was a reach of an article they said. But, you know, Carlton Davis taking a lot of slander. I have never – I haven't even heard him take any slander in Tampa. I don't know, we played him. They just gave him hella props, and he played very well versus, versus, you know, in that last game. And I don't remember him playing bad in the second game. But since he got to Detroit, it ain't been nothing but bad mouthing. And, you know, at the end of the day, uh, that's how I be. You know, even if they trade you by will or you, you trade by your own will or you move on your own will, they always going to have something to say. So hopefully it's just motivating him. And obviously he got a contract going to do on the line, too. So, you know, uh, he's going to get paid. So hopefully he come prepared and, you know, he work on durability if maybe, you know, getting putting a little bit more muscle on, changing his diet, maybe, you know, you know, warming up or doing more more exercises for fluidity and all that. So um, all that can help. So you guys wait and see exactly um, what you see exactly kind of where, where it goes for him at. But it was a reach. Lions don't have many bad contracts, you know, under Brad Holmes. I mean, I don't think he had opportunity to give out too many bad contracts yet. So it seemed like they they're going to be, safe and free agency and how they spend their money and, and just invest in the draft and when they give out extensions and contracts it's going to be the homegrown talent so but uh yeah man let me know what y'all girls and guys think you got detroit lions talk playlist thumbs up the video share the video subscribe to the channel next subscribe button is the bell icon button hit all notifications increase your chance to get notifications we go live or drop video financially want to support the channel um Cash up, dollar sign, CJ Good, 313, Venmo, CJ Good, 313, PayPal, link in the description, and the link tree. Peace.